Hi there, thank you for clicking on my video. So today I'm going to bring you something that I've been looking forward to getting and I just got this and it is Whiff of a Waffle Cone by Imaginary Authors. So Whiff of a Waffle Cone um, is a niche brand and this is the way that this came. So what I got was a little uh, travel spray. Uh, I had some money left on an Etsy card um, because I was able to get that with my Etsy gift card. So uh, Imaginary Authors is a niche brand. Uh, they do have their own website and most of their stuff is available online and they do have an Etsy store as well. So I just thought I'd let you know about that. Um, and their fragrances are really beautifully packaged. It looks like a book so, and it comes like this. So I have worn this a couple times. I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. So let's look at the packaging. So what I have here, it's spent. I spent around thirty-five dollars for this, and I believe the um, the actual bottles are around sixty-five dollars in American money. Not too expensive. Um, it does cost quite a bit to get it shipped to Canada, but I was able to. Um, get a, a deal with Etsy. <laughs> um, and uh, this looks like a book. It's got a spine on it. Um, really, really cool. And uh, so this fragrance came out in 2020. And um, it was made by Josh Meyer. And Josh Meyer is an in-house perfumer for Imaginary Authors. And the I couldn't find any top notes, base notes, and middle notes like divided up. So I can just name you the no notes. There is caramel, vanilla, whipped cream, amorous, syrup, ice cream, and cinnamon. So this is what it looks like here. I'm going to show you. So it comes out like this, and then there's the foam. I have to keep the box. It just looks so cool. I think I'm going to put it on my bookshelf. And then um, it says, begins with a single scent. Um, and it's got a magnetic closure, which is really nice for displaying. So this is what the little travel size looks like. And the uh, full size bottle just looks like a rectangular bottle and it has a similar kind of sticker on it. And then it also has this logo as well, their logo. And um, I'm going to let you know what this smells like. So I'm gonna put this on paper here. The sprayer on this is really good for a travel size, quite good. And it's also got, it's like a ceramic kind of glass. So I'm definitely getting some projection here. So this smells really, really nice. Um, so what does this smell like? So um, this is definitely a gourmand for sure. Um, it smells like, it smells like a waffle that is slightly burnt. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it, that's what it smells like. It smells like waffles that are being made. Um, so as for caramel, I definitely smell caramel for sure. And I do smell vanilla as well. And I do smell a hint of like whipped cream, the syrup for sure. And some ice cream, a little bit. It's not as milky as I thought it was going to be. Definitely smell some of that spice of the cinnamon, but more than anything else, it smells like, uh, like a burnt kind of waffle. <laughs> so I'm going to spray it on my skin and let you know. This is Eau de Parfum formulation. Um, well, the projection on this is crazy. So I just sprayed it. I'm about a foot away from it and I, I smell it. It's like filling the air. I did put some of this on with um, my brother around and he was like, whoa, that is really strong. <laughs> um, so uh, it smells really, really nice. So um, it doesn't smell too synthetic because that was something I was wondering about if it's going to smell really synthetic because sometimes I do enjoy gourmands very much, but sometimes gourmands can get a little bit too synthetic. But this is um, this is nice. Like it has vanilla and it smells like a burnt kind of like waffle um, topped with some ice cream. It's not too, too sweet. It's not sugary sweet. It's more of like um, just lightly sweet um, fragrance. Um, it's definitely unisex. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The one fragrance that it definitely reminds me of is By the Fireplace by Replica. It's if you like By the Fireplace, you'll definitely like this. It also smells a lot like 
Uh, I'm really into candles as well. Uh, not as much as fragrances, but I definitely love candles. I have uh, several of them. And it smells like the uh, Marshmallow Fireside Candle from Bath & Body Works. I know, Bath & Body Works candles, some people turn their nose up at them, but I still love Bath & Body Works candles. It's something I always get for Christmas and my birthday um, from my relatives. They know that I love it and it's an easy gift to get me. So um, I'm gonna come back and let you know how this develops after a few hours and um, give let you know my thoughts. Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna let you know like what this smells like. So. This smells like, um, just again, the same burnt waffle smell. Um, it has not changed. It stayed pretty linear on my skin. I've sprayed it here about three hours ago and it still smells like it for sure. It definitely does. It's got some longevity for sure. Definitely does. I really hope that this uh, house stays niche because I am really enjoying how um, the projection, the longevity, and there's a sillage to it for sure. Uh, I think, I hope they don't sell out, please don't. <laughs> I really, really love this fragrance. So this is something I will be buying a full bottle of at some point when I finish this one. I have a lot of fragrance to go through, so I really need to stick with what I have and use what I, currently use and get rid of things that I don't currently use. So this fragrance, um, if you're looking for a nice, good quality gourmand that's not too sugary sweet, more on the unisex side, this is a perfect fragrance to get. They have great um, packaging, uh, longevity of these fragrances from what I've heard has been really, really good. Um, and I'm really excited to try more from this brand. So uh, thank you very much for watching my video and stay safe wherever you are. Bye.